theatrical films at this year's London Festival is likely to be extremities. The star is Farrah Fawcett, and as I suggested to her, I think it's potentially a dangerous picture. I'd better explain why so that you'll know what she and I were talking about. Miss Fawcett plays a young career woman who shares a fairly remote house with two other girls. One day, while she's alone, James Russo, who's already tried and failed to rape her at a shopping mall, breaks in and subjects her to several hours of terror and humiliation, all of which is clearly intended to lead up to her rape and murder. This, I must say, is graphically and powerfully done. It's horrifying to watch, and yet you do watch it riveted, partly because the action is skillfully handled by the director, Robert M. Young, but mostly because the performances of Miss Fawcett and Mr. Russo are first class. However, I believe that any film story which treats women as objects to be brutalised should be handled with extreme care because the world, alas, has more than its share of lunatics and cretins who believe that's precisely how women should be treated. But when the woman looks like Miss Fawcett, great mane of blonde hair, at least 128 gleaming white teeth, skimpy clothes and legs up to her shoulders, those same lunatics might find the idea of imitating the film even more exciting. In the last part of the picture, and by judicious use of some insecticide, Miss Fawcett gains the upper hand, and the genuine earlier drama now becomes melodrama, far less credible than what's gone before though it centres on a serious problem, namely, what is she to do with this rapist she now has in her power? As he points out, if she turns him over to the police, it'll be her word against his, and he'll soon be out on the streets, even more determined to rape and kill her. It's a difficult film to advise you on, well enough made that to dismiss it would be unfair, but at the same time, the study of psychopath and victim is explicit enough to appall you. In the second half of the film, when you turn the tables on mm -hmm. him, the woman becomes very nearly as bad as he is, doesn't she? I it's tried little... my best to get down, to get down there, where you men hover sometimes. <laughs> oh, thanks. That was the whole point. Yes, to, to, because I think it's in us all. I think that one who is pushed to the extreme will find that out of self-preservation, you can get there. And the, the only way I could see to, to vindicate myself was to do that. It wasn't picking up the phone to call the police. It was to make him feel as inadequate and scared and uh, degraded as I had felt. I have had personal experiences where someone did something to me and I reacted in a frightened way. They acted like they were going to hit me. And I went back and then they said, ha, huh, you were frightened. It was such a humiliating experience that um, I had to do it back on a later date, just to, to, to show them that it's terribly humiliating. But don't you think that this might put even more fear into women who are already inclined to be a little bit frightened of this kind of situation anyway? More frightened of, of what? Of, of the possibility of that happening. They'll be even more wary Well, they of, should of be. Well, it's, it's, yes, it's, it, you it, know, I, I, one should take care to protect oneself. I mean, we physically are, are inferior and... Um, I think that by being aware, you're one step ahead. Because well, it's going to feed the fantasies of, of those deranged people who, are, who might possibly be inclined to do something like James Russo does in, in the film anyway. I mean, that's, I, that's where the danger lies. But it didn't affect you that way, did it? No, but I, no. I like to think that I'm, you know, I, I don't really want to rape anybody, to be uh, perfectly no, honest. No, no, but I just don't find it in any way encouraging. You know, I never did. I saw the play, and so I have a very passionate... Uh, point of view about it. How would you feel if a rapist came up in court here or in America and said that what had turned him on, what had inflamed him, was the film Extremities? Would that cause you to think again? Well, quite what if he happened. said the same? What if he said, "I I raped someone because I I saw you on an old uh, um, episode of Charlie's Angels." Mm. You know, he's a sick person.